Hey, Justin here from Web Education Services. I just want to give you a quick rundown of how to use uh, Google Analytics if you're a beginner. First thing you want to do is over to the left here is click on Reports. And then in Reports, we're going to click on Acquisition and User Acquisition. This is going to tell us who's been coming to our website and what they're looking at. In the upper right hand corner, I always like to click on the last 28 days um, just to give a good look at comparisons. Uh, and then also click on the compare button to say, okay, well, how did we do compared to the previous 28 days? And click on apply. And that's gonna update our user acquisition. Uh, we can scroll down and start to see, you know, where the traffic is coming from, whether it's display ads, uh, organic search, uh, paid videos, paid social, you know, organic social. Um, kind of all these different things, uh, email marketing, um, anything that's kind of potentially driving traffic to the website. After we kind of have a good idea at a high level of where the traffic is coming from, we can click on the blue plus button, click on page screen, and look at our landing pages. This will then start to show us in the organic search what blog posts or what pages are actually starting to drive the most uh, traffic or any of our videos um, or any kind of paid advertising and it gives you another level of okay well I'm doing this stuff what pages are kind of creating um, users um, and engagement and then really it's about you know creating more content along those lines to be able to help people out. So it's great to be able to have traffic and be able to, to see people on the website but at the end of the day we want phone calls, we want phone submissions, we want clients, we want customers. So the next question is, how is this content helping to support that overall goal? To better understand that, we want to click on our engagement. We want to click on conversion. And we can start to see here what events are happening on our website. So clicks the call, good stuff. 57 coming in, form submissions, people seeing the thank you page because they've been something on the website to convert, or even just kind of checking out like uh, contact page views. So these are the things that are driving leads into the website. So we go, okay, well, that's good that our conversions are overall up, our click to calls are up. But again, where is that coming from becomes the question. Click on the blue plus sign, look at our session acquisition, check out our source and medium. And then from there, we can see, oh, click to calls, our Google uh, cost per click. So that's our Google advertising is driving more phone calls. We can put more money behind that and drive more phone calls. Click the calls coming from our organic search. We know that we can do more blog posts and more content out there to be able to drive more organic traffic to the website and again, be able to have more conversion. Same thing here with our form. So really it's about understanding um, where those sources are, where you want to put your energy um, and doing that by simply going to our reports checking out our user acquisition data, and then going to reports and checking out our conversion. Now, if you do not have the Google Analytics set up and configured to be able to return data for this type of information, feel free to reach out to us. We'll just spend a half hour with you going over your analytics and making sure that you have the right codes on your website. If you need any help with um, analyzing data or just generally with content marketing or digital marketing, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to just kind of look at your current state, where you are with things, um, and see how we might be able to help and uh, teach you uh, do-it-yourself marketing. Uh, Justin Babcock, Web Education Services. You know where to find